Hey guys, what's up? It's Christy from Intensity and Ellie, and we have a high intensity interval training workout for you today. So all you need is yourself. Let's get started. All right, hope you guys are all feeling great today. So let's just start with a little warm up. So let's just jog it out. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on. 10 seconds off, six rounds, full body workout, some cardio, some strength, and we'll be feeling great. All right, we're gonna change this up just a little bit. We're gonna do some butt kicks. So you can either step it out and pull back, or if you want, you can run it out for just a little bit more cardio. Get our heart rate up, get the blood flowing, feeling good. And let's go right into some high knees. So you can choose if you want to march it out or jog it out right away. We just wanna make sure to warm up those hip flexors. So get those knees up nice and high. jumping jacks. Make sure your toes are pointed out to the side. Once again, if you want a little more cardio, feel free to go right into those jumping jacks. It's just the warm-up, so we don't have to get too crazy yet. All right, we're going to continue with that lateral movement, and we're going to go into skiers. So take a step back. I'm sorry, skaters. Take a step back behind. We're going to be doing skiers later. And you can reach down a little bit further. Just make sure your chest is up the whole time. One more, and let's do a couple quick arm circles. Forward, and back. All right, hope you guys are ready to go. We're gonna start off with squat jumps and sumo squat jumps. So first round, 30 seconds, we're just going to Squat, and then bring our feet together. Squat, bring our feet together. So toes are facing forward. Second round, we're gonna just change up just a little bit. So toes out to the side for those sumo squats. And then still bring your feet together. If you don't wanna jump, that's totally fine. Just either stay in place, or you can add a knee. All right, let's get going. Start with those squat jumps. And here we go. So just make sure you're sitting back, like you'd be sitting in a chair for these, especially if you're jumping, you wanna make sure not to put any extra pressure on your joints. So try and land softly, sit back, look straight ahead, Arms straight up for balance. And break. So remember, sumo squats are next. So feet out to the side, down. So a little trickier because you have to move your feet out to in. Here we go. jump, you can either just stay right here and do those sumo squats, or you can add a 
a knee. Great, shake that. Round two for the squats. Here we go. Now, whether you're jumping or squatting in place, can you challenge yourself to get just a little lower? All right, one more time for each of these. We got this. Here we go. Ready start to feel the burn. Whew. Remember, if you're getting tired, you can always take those options. for burpees. So if you want to stay just in place, you can do a squat and then either a press against the air or a push up against the wall. If you're down with the burpees, we're just going to take it all the way down and bring your feet back, bring them in, and stand back up. So those are your options for the burpees. For the walkouts, we're just gonna walk our feet, or walk our hands all the way up, walk our hands all the way back up. If you don't wanna do those, you can still work those hamstrings just by doing straight leg kicks. So those are your options. So first round, burpees, second round, inchworms. All right, here we go. Stand up. If you do want a little more impact, you can jump. And remember, if you're not down with this, that's okay. Just do those squat air presses or push ups against the wall. All right, round two. We got those inchworms or straight leg kicks. Here we go. It's a little bit of 
of a breather here. Back to burpees. Here we go. Always walk your feet back instead of jumping them back. All right, and twerms. Aren't you guys glad you joined class today? To take it off. I might have cheated just a little bit there, not finishing my whole set. Shake it out. Last one.
Shake it out. Back to the high knees. Nice high with that clap. Here we go. Ready? Okay, two more, one of each. So let's definitely make it count. Shake it out. Make sure you're grabbing some water. All right. So your two moves for this one. So first one, jacks. So if you want to stay standing right here, tap it out. Just make sure your toes are going out to the side or jack it out. Same thing. If you want a little more upper body, we're going to do those plank jacks on the ground. So stay right here. Tall plank. You're just gonna jack those feet out. If you don't like the bouncing, but wanna stay down low, tap it out with your feet. That's round one, three, and five. Round two, four, six, we're gonna do push-ups. So you can choose push-ups against the wall, push-ups on your knees, push-ups on your toes, or however you like to do push-ups. So let's go ahead and get started with those plank jacks. All right, here we go. Ready, set, here we go. So the key for these is try to keep your body in alignment. The worst thing you can do is let your hips sink down when you're doing these and potentially hurt your low back. So you really wanna try and keep your back straight or even have your hips a little bit higher if you're not sure. If it's at all concerned, you can always just tap those feet out and shake it out. All right, push-ups next. Your choice of variety. I think I'm gonna do them on my knees today. I'm feeling them from yesterday. Lots of push-ups yesterday. So we're just gonna make it a little easier. I'm gonna listen to my body, take it a little easier today. Make sure to keep your head in line with your spine. That means not bring your head down for those push-ups, but rather looking about a foot in front of your hands. Take it back, back to those jacks. 
Here we go. And if you get tired of holding on on the ground, your shoulders are getting tired at any point, you can just go ahead, stand up, and continue with the, with the jacks in the air. The goal is to keep moving. All right, here we go. Back to push-ups. Ooh, the sweat is flying. That means it's either really humid in here or I'm working really hard. Or maybe a little bit of both. When you're doing your push-ups on your knees, you can put your feet out to the side for some stability, or you can cross them and bring them in towards your glutes. It'll make it just a little harder. All right, last round of jacks. We got this. Make them count. Yes, the planks and the push-ups do have core in it, but we're going to focus on a couple V-set movements. If you can, keep your feet hovered 
above the mat the whole time. If this is too much, either on your hip flexors or you're just not feeling it, you can always lift one leg at a time instead of both. There's nothing wrong with that. Progress, not perfection, right guys? Shake it out. So same goes with these side by sides. If they're just a little too much, you can always just bring one leg out to the side and then the other leg out to the side. We're going. Make sure to breathe. It's really easy to hold your breath during these. You want to make sure that you're breathing the whole time. All right. Last round of the claps. I want to hear you guys super loud. stretch here after this. Here we go. Reach. Reach for it. Pretend your toes are trying to knock something over like your water bottle. I can't quite reach mine though. Try and bring your feet out to the side. Just another inch. Go ahead, bring it down, straighten that other leg, other knee comes in bent, nice and close to the chest. And left leg bent, right leg crosses for that figure four, gently press down. And either stay here or if you want that extra flexibility, Reach underneath that straight leg and pull it in. And bring those legs down. Bring both knees into your chest and let's just rock side to side. Bring one knee out a little bit further to the side. So we're working a little more asymmetrically. And let's go ahead and roll on up. Go ahead, cross your legs. One hand down on the ground, other arm up and over your head. Stretching out that side. And bring that hand down. Other arm up and over. And hands down, reach forward, drop your chin, round that back. And 
hands up nice and straight. Bring those elbows down. Open up your chest. And let's go ahead and stand it on up. Just finish off with some leg stretches. So keep your legs nice and straight and reach down. Let's alternate bending and flexing our knees here. You never want to lock your knees, just a slight bend. And slowly we'll roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bring those shoulders back. Bring those legs out to the side just a little bit further. And we're just going to stretch over to one side and then to the other. Stretch to one side. And then the other. And then let's go ahead and fold it down low on one side. And hold it down low on the other side. We have lots of movement with our inner outer thighs, quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves. We want to make sure we stretch it all. And bring those hands behind your back. Look up as you bring those fingers down towards the mat. And hands come all the way up, deep breath in, and exhale, shake them out one more time, deep breath in, and shake it out on the way down, two thumbs up, thank you guys so much for coming, I hope you feel more energized and ready to tackle the rest of your day, have a good day.